Hey guys, it's way back with another review for y'all and I have another Lego Ninjago set. I have today Wu's Battle Dragon set, set number 71718, ages 7 and up, and 321 pieces. I am actually very excited for this set. I saw it and I was like, wow, that really looks interesting. I've never seen like Lego Ninjago's like uh lego ninjago's uh this theme before so i'm actually kind of really excited so you got hero Wu and you got gluck i guess his name is um that's gonna be the front view bottom view um it's gonna be a left side for you but i'm guessing that's cole right there um you got the back view right there and then you got the last side which is right here for you so i'm very excited so yeah enough talking let's get into it guys all right so i am back all right so it took me a while to actually build this set i could have lied this set has quite a bit of a lot of small pieces actually it's not even quite a bit um it comes with no stickers actually it just comes with the actual i guess you call them like a kind of like a rubber kind of plastic for the wings for the detail um it has a lot of articulations especially in the dragon um, this obviously the dragon's the main build, but you have a lot of ball joints. I mean, and I mean a lot, um, in this actual build, and I just didn't really expect that, so it took me quite a bit of a while to build it. Maybe for you guys, you fly by through it, but it's been a while since I built a set with that many. Um, definitely, I have to say, this set is not a set that you would get if you're looking more into actual good build, um, more of a variety. Um, more the build goes into the actual main build, which is the dragon. Um, then you got a little small build right here that actually has the sword right here, which in the back of the box, you can see that black right here is actually, I guess they're protecting. I haven't seen Lego Ninjago in a while, and I'm actually starting to watch it again. Um, so once I actually start catching up on it, I'll actually know what the heck I'm actually talking about. But um, yeah, this is the other small build um with the actual sword right there you get quite a few extra pieces you even got extra armor for mr Wu. um you got an extra sorry you got an extra flame you got just extra pieces especially more you got more studs especially for black here since uh he has like the crossbow shooter that actually has like the stud shooter right there you actually just pull on that back piece and it just shoots it out um but yeah, that's going to be black right here with actual dark brown kind of short legs. Uh, that's going to be his torso printing right there. Yeah, that's his fa first face. And he actually has a double-sided face. Um, go ahead and turn that right there. And then if you actually remove that, I can just show you the back printing right there for y'all. Um, which is interesting because I've realized that Lego does um, have short legs that can actually move. Um, like I recently just got a, recently just got a Lego Disney minifigure. And it's one of the Chippendale uh, brothers. And he has articulation. Like, he can move his legs. Let me show you right here. See? So, I was surprised. I, I, I just see that Lego does it for special minifigures. Ones that they don't really have to do over and over and over and over again. Because I guess it's just the cost of it. Um, but I don't mind. I really don't mind those those short legs. Um, they've been around for a while. He's going to be Hero Wu. Here's going to be a staff with a little lightsaber hilt on the middle. Um, here you go on that. That's the front view. I guess you can kind of see his torso printing, and then you got his leg printing right there. Um, he just has, like, a straight, like, actual belt right across his... Uh, sorry, I don't even know why I said belt. It's just a straight line across his belt. Um, and same thing, and that's going to be this back printing right there, which I didn't expect this, but Lego actually did like a little bit of a printing on the back of his head to, you know, show that he still has hair, obviously. Um, meant to move his mustache too. That's gonna be his torso printing. Um, I really like what Lego has been doing a lot with the Lego Ninjago theme. Um, they really have uh, progressed from their first season and from their first sets and i'm really glad that they have because it really shows that they're actually wanting to put more effort into their sets and wanting to give more to a certain theme instead of just going on with the exact same thing and then people eventually getting sick of it and the theme dying off 
So them going off and adventuring into different styles definitely works. Um, here's going to be uh, his Battle Dragon. That's literally the set uh, set name. Um, I definitely like what they've done. Um, but this is my first dragon, so I definitely like the actual build. Like I said, a lot of our ball joints, a lot of articulations, a lot of technic um, pieces for sure. Um, definitely, you're going to get your work set for you especially building this set um but yeah it's very posable you can definitely do a lot of different poses with it um i really don't have much to say about the dragon it just said that the detail is really on point um most of the dragons that i've seen do have an actual build for a face it's not just lego pieces it has it has an actual mold um, but this time I guess they went around and they just wanted to do something different, which I don't mind. I actually kind of like this whole, um, thing they got going on with his dragon. Um, you could actually put him on the actual dragon itself. You could just move that back, take him, and you could either sit him down or put him standing. It's up to you. Um, I would much rather put him, I'm gonna move his hat real quick. I would much rather put him sitting Sometimes um, it just makes, I guess, more sense instead of having him standing. But it's it's literally up to you on that. Um, but he just slides right in there. Maybe just put his hat back on. Um, I definitely see this dragon, this kind of build, definitely bringing something new to the table as, as far as uh, Lego dragon builds. Um, as like I said, he could definitely fit on there pretty easy. Um, it just has that normal seating piece that they have. It's that build. If I can just show you real quick. It's that build right there. That mold of that, I guess, triangle mold. That's what they're basically calling it. Um, it's definitely, definitely a good, good way to do it. Especially just instead of using studs just to put them on there. That's a great way to do it. Um... But I definitely have to say this set is a great set. It's my first dragon, obviously, so I definitely have to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, but as far as, like, most people, since, you know, Lego Ninjago's been around for quite a bit of a while, this set would probably not play onto their expectations. Um, not really what they're expecting, but I definitely like it. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, as far as this set, I definitely have to give it a 10 out of 10. Love the build, love the minifigures, and overall, just a great set. But, uh, yeah, definitely smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification just to let you know when I post. I post every single week, every other day, every single day, just depending, I guess. Uh, um, but, yeah. Um, just comment down below. Just let me know what y'all think. Also, I just created a TikTok for my actual channel. I'm about to create an Instagram too. So y'all can definitely hit me up on there. Um, I know I can only do so much and communicate with y'all so much on YouTube. So definitely I'm creating other ways for y'all to communicate with me and me getting to know my fan base. So yeah, I will see y'all in the next video and I hope y'all have a great day.